Mason County has over 700 miles of shoreline, with numerous creeks and rivers draining into Puget Sound. It receives an average of 65 inches of rain each year. When it rains, pollution is carried by stormwater from parking lots, driveways, lawns, and farm fields into the water, causing water quality problems. Problems that are negatively impacting Mason County's vibrant shellfish industry, our local wildlife, and the beauty of our natural environment. Storm water runoff is an escalating problem, and you can help put a lid on it. LID, or LID, stands for Low Impact Development. In an effort to lessen the damage caused by the continued coverage of the land with buildings, roads, driveways, and sidewalks, some LID solutions have been developed to help manage water runoff. The goal is to put the water back into the soil close to where it had fallen. These tools include rain gardens, bioretention swales, green roofs, vegetation retention, soils amendments, and the focus of this video, pervious concrete. Designed with a 20 to 25 percent void structure, it allows water to pass right through while still maintaining the strength and durability of standard concrete. A typical application would go something like this. Break up the subsoil so it is not compacted. A layer of large rock. If desired, a course of geotextile fabric to aid in water treatment. A layer of small rock, then paved with the pervious concrete. In 2008, Mason Conservation District received a grant from the Washington State Department of Ecology to build two demonstration sites using low impact development tools to manage stormwater. Pervious concrete was used at both sites. One was for the Turning Point Domestic Violence Shelter, and the other was for the Pioneer Intermediate Middle School. Following is a quick outline of those projects. First, we break up the existing subsoil so that the ground is not compacted. Second is a layer of large rock. On the Turning Point project, we chose to use a layer of geotextile fabric for extra water quality treatment. This fabric layer is not always used. Now, it all gets covered with a layer of small rock. Finally, all the prep work is done and it's time to actually pour the concrete. Once it is checked for proper mixture, the rest goes fairly quickly. Paint some stripes and we have a couple of very nice parking areas that also manage stormwater and help protect the natural environment. Parking areas that didn't require the cost of storm sewers or the added cost and land use involved with developing collection ponds. Parking areas that are never again going to have to worry about water runoff. Mason Conservation District would like to thank the Washington State Department of Ecology for the grant funds that made these two low-impact development demonstration projects possible. We would also like to thank the many partners involved in the construction of each site.